are. I made it. Come in. <laughs> I knew you'd stop along the way a thousand places. How are you? All good. Trip good. go okay? Yeah. Good. Thank you. I'm glad you came this time because I was really wanting to chat with you about uh, the next Ezra Smart book that I'm working on right now. How cool. Tell me what you got in mind. Well, something unusual has happened this time. Uh, you know, I moved to Hot Springs for a few years and uh, then moved back to Texas. But when I was in Hot Springs, I came up on the downtown, a hill right down off the side of downtown, there's three houses built side by side, uh, close, close. They're Victorian houses and they're painted bright colors, different trim. I learned they have quite a history. And uh, you know me, I love a good ghost story. Yeah, I'd love to have bought them for haunted bed and breakfast, but. Uh, oh my God, we could have done so much with that. <laughs> <laughs> they're already sold. Uh, but I, I talked to the realtor and he let me in the first one and uh, there was something about the more I learned about their history the more they drew me in and it's like they were just waiting for me the first Miss Fancy kept talking to me and, and huh. you know and I'm not hearing voices I'm not going crazy but she, it was just like she was wanting her say. It's finally someone is going to listen to what we have to say. I started listening, and I, when I started writing, I found myself writing first-person house. Well, that's unusual. <laughs> yeah. I've never known anyone doing that before. No, I don't, I don't think I've heard of that one before. And I talked to some of my writer friends, and they said, well, you can't do that. You can't have a house as a... Says who? Well, that's what my critique group said. They said, do it. And uh, and the first the first part of the book is Miss Fancy explaining uh, how she feels and what their situation is. And she does not want anyone coming there. Hmm. Uh, so there gets the story going. Hmm. That's interesting. Can't wait to see where you go with it. Yeah, <laughs> me either. I have no clue where I'm going with it. But you know how we do. We just keep following those voices in our head. We're schizophrenic, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never tell if you don't. Know. I'm not telling. I don't think I have to. I think most people already know it. <laughs> hey, Sylvia, how's it going? It's going, D.C., but it's not going easy. Uh, I picked a hard direction. You'll get it. I'm pretty sure you'll get it all done. Well, with your there help, I'm sure I will. Yes. Thanks. Well, have a good night, okay? Yeah, we'll, we'll see, see you later. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye. interesting. Al Capone is responsible for over a thousand murders. Did you do that? Not personally. Who's there? No one here but us ghosts. <laughs> ghosts? How many of you are there? What's that smell? Oh, that's just my cigar. I'm kind of fond of them. You like it? Good lord, that stinks. Watch out now. I don't take insults kindly. Why are you here? What do you mean, why am I here? You asked the question. What do you mean? You asked if I killed over a thousand people. And I said, not personally. It's never personal. It's just business. But who are you? That's what I want to know. And why are you here? You haven't figured that out yet? Boy, some mystery writer you are. <laughs> some call me Scarface. Never to my face, of course. You can call me Al. 
Al Capone? Now you're getting it. Let's get down to work. What do you want to know? Hey girl, what's going on? Are you sitting down? Yeah, I'm sitting down. You are not going to believe who showed up to help out with the book. I give. Who showed? Al Capone. Who? Al Capone. Al Capone? I thought he was dead. He is. Well, how does that happen? I was doing research and I, I happened to ask a question out loud and he answered. You know, I've always heard voices before, but I always ignored them or, or I just blew it off. Oh my God. I just had a brilliant idea. We need to make a movie about this. The story behind the story about the book. Talk about a marketing ploy. Oh my God, this would be so cool to tell the behind the scenes story. And then at the end of it all, the book actually exists. What do you think? Penny, that's brilliant. I like it. You do? Yeah, I like her style. I do too. That's why I always tell her all these things. Well, Al approves. <laughs> well, I'm so glad he approves. <laughs> he likes the idea that people can see a different side of it. <laughs> oh, well, I'll get right on it. And you need to get on and finishing that book up. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later. Bye, girl. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. <laughs> well, this is going to be fun. to thank you for writing our story. Oh my. You're welcome. What took you so long? I'm just now learning how to hear you. Got it. Now? You're stirring things up over here with this story. Some people are getting excited. Some are getting upset. It's getting interesting. Really? Wow. I never really thought about writing from both sides of the veil before. Always helps to get both sides of the story. <laughs> Keep it up, kiddo. I've got business to tend to. I'll check back with you later. Al? Al? I guess he's gone again. How's it going, kid? You're just in time. I'm writing the end. Hot damn, how about that? 
I knew you had it in you. Glad I could help. Well, you are a big help. Thank you. Gave me a whole new perspective. Good job. Had it in you, kid. Oh, I love it. Good job. Not personally. No one here but us ghosts. Who's there? Hmm? Bill, we're recording, honey. So don't answer me. It's coming, but it's not easy, DC. Ah, uh, you'll get it. You'll get it. Well, <laughs> you're a big part of it, so thank you. I... I'll keep plugging away. I don't know if I can write a book like this or not. How do I, how do I cry? <laughs> Think just of something really, really sad. Yes, yeah, sob. Just kind of whimper and write, you know. You know. Okay. If you yeah. sniff or sniffle, yeah. it yeah. will so like a cry. Just kind of... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's been going on? Well, a lot. I don't even know where to start. That's why I wanted you to come and see me. So we could, you could help me through this where I'm stuck. 